Welcome to the powerhouse. don't know about turbines, I'll give you a small crash course. This is a power producing turbine. I would say medium size. I don't know how well you'll hear me on the video. I'll talk toward the camera. Steam enters from the boiler, in this case under the floor. There's a governor, a hydraulic governor. Pilot oil for that is supplied by a pump, usually driven by the spinning shaft. Power input from the governor has to be huge to actuate steam valves. The regular centrifugal governor would break linkages for itself. There's a small one, a small flyball governor in a case in there. It operates a pilot valve that sends hydraulic fluid one or the other direction. It's a huge cylinder which magnifies the force of that governor. Pushes on a camshaft. That camshaft operates in a way where the further it rotates, cam gives me one admission valve, then two, three, four, progressively. That throttles the steam to the steam press to the turbine to the high pressure stage. Has an exhaust portion again under the floor, it should be in this one, and the middle of the low pressure turbine, and it goes in both directions, then down to the condenser. The reason it goes both directions at once is to stop excessive force from being pushing the turbine shaft one way or the other. The high pressure being single flow does that already, so we have a Kingsbury thrust bearing which is a bunch of metal flat plates. Hydraulic oil changes the angle of the plates and changes the characteristic of the oil film that the thrust plate rides on to compensate. There's lube oil flow and temperature. So these things just tell you, because on a turbine like this, the oil does not only lubricate, it is a coolant. It carries heat away from the bearings because the machine is so high power that without a continuous flow of oil to carry the heat away, it would melt the bearing. This is the alternator. It's a three-phase machine. On this, two-pole magnet, north and south, surrounded by six coils, two per phase. So, one and two is phase one. Three and four are phase two, five and six are phase three. When each one, when the magnet is aligned with each one as a north and the south, the full strength of voltage is on that phase, and as the magnet spins, that's where you get three phase alternating current with the peaks and troughs at 120 degrees to each other. The magnet is an electromagnet fed with DC current. Here is a DC dynamo called an exciter. The control room controls the amount of power this makes. It puts it on the slip ring, which are here. The slip rings put the DC power onto bus bars in the shaft. I don't think you can see them. Yeah, we'll see them on the other yeah. turbine. And that feeds the power to a spinning magnet. We'll go to this one and show you. Same thing, just a little different. There's your camshaft in front. One, two, three, four admission valves. Here's the governor. Low pressure turbine, double flow. Alternator. There's the turning gear. The turning gear keeps the turbine rotating at a few RPM when it's shut down or when it's warming up or cooling down to prevent the shaft from stagging under its weight or bending due to unequal heating and cooling. The hot steam will tend to run across the top of the turbine, which will cause the wheels and the top of the shaft to expand, so the shaft will bend upward when it's warming up unless it's being continuously rotated. Always use the turning gear to avoid damaging the turbine. 
and when you begin to turn the turbine with steam, always remember to disengage it or you'll destroy it. DC generator, here's the slip rings. You should be able to see them. Yeah, so all they are, yeah, all they are is flat bars. They're two, two continuous discs. It's not like a commutator with lots of bars. It's two discs, and the brushes, positive and negative, constantly rub all over them. <laughs> yep. So that's, ba that's the basics of a turbine. And what I should do is supplement the video with some diagrams, which I guess I'll draw. But, oh, and of course, the company that John Albanese loves to hate, 